Oh boy! I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what we were doing. It, it's been a little while. Sometimes, sometimes I just get a little burnt out from this game. Just a little bit. Uh, but I'm sure we're doing something important. That's gotta be the case, right? Uh, isn't this the Tojo Clan hideout? The headquarters? Kazuma family office. Yeah, oh yeah, we're looking for Nishikiyama. Sure, whatever, why not? <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna find out that I actually don't have any, like, health recovery items. Uh, but that's, that's kind of par for the course for, the, for me, you know. It's just the way I do it. They got tissues in here. Oh, Ah, what, you got a problem? Aren't you at least fronting as a legitimate business? Come on. Tell me where your buddy is. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. No, we're about to get acquainted. Really should have said yes. If you just lie, then they'll be like, Oh, right away, sir. <laughs> Oh, come on, you goons. You should be able to tell that I'm, you know, not gonna go down too easy. Huh? Yeah, okay, pal. As you wish. Ah! Somebody who knows what they're talking about. I guess. Yeah. You tell me I didn't introduce myself? Oh, jeez. That's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I don't go down easy, pal. I've been running a cabaret club in, like, uh, Shinjuku or something. Or is this Shinjuku? No, this is Shibuya, right? Anyways. Shout out to the Shibuya incident for taking up literally half of the amount of chapters that Jujutsu Kaisen was at the time. Probably not. Uh, sorcerer fight, sorcerer fight. Yeah, I like how that's completely devolved into, we're just gonna make something happen and then the explanation is, it just doesn't make sense, actually. <laughs> it's too high level for it to make sense to your feeble mind. Good shit, honestly. Oh, whatever, I'm still reading it, so, whatever. Uh, you don't even, you don't even have domain over Kiryu right now. Come on. Or I guess we are kind of working with him. Are we? No, no we're not. Oh, come on. We've definitely beat the crap out of people in the office before. That's like typical office behavior. Have you never seen that episode of The Office? Where where Dwight just like beats the shit out of everybody? Come on. Like, that's a, it's a classic episode. That's like some season one shit, you know? Anyways. This empty lot? How many empty lots are in this game? Oh, we're at the top of a building. Hey! You know, I don't know if there are fences everywhere. It sounds like the kind of place I could throw a guy off, you know? <laughs> well, hey, at least I don't have to beat up like 50 million guys before I get to this guy. I, I gotta say, I appreciate that part. Interesting. Well, my way of Yakuza is to hit you in the face with a baseball bat, so I hope you're fine with that. Because it's gonna happen, repeatedly. And, and then you'll just go down and not come back up. I'll be on my merry way. Okay. How much you're gonna bet he's not actually gonna wait for me to come after him? Please tell me I'm already on the baseball bat. No, I'm not. Hey. <laughs> wait. Try me, pal. Ow. Hey, not cool. Dude, what is he even doing? Anyways. Oh, come on. Ah, sucker. Yeah. I I'm really good at the whole fighting commentary. I should take lessons from Joe. I'm not gonna tell you which Joe I'm talking about, okay? Go to hell. How about that one? Anyways. 
this guy. You'll see this guy there. Hold on. Let me just let me just make sure I'm not missing out on something here. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Aha! Uh -huh. Well. Oh, you know, I'm really. I actually am missing out on something here. That's the one I use all the time. Wow. Okay, abilities, my friends. Good stuff. And, <laughs> well, yeah. Let's just let's just sink all of our money into this stuff. This is this is actually really worth it. And uh, well, it's all out. It takes advantage of the baseball bat's design. Huh. Uh, I don't know if I really have the wherewithal to do that, but uh, let's just get it anyways, I guess. Why the hell not, right? Right. I forgot that B is a break guard instead of a grab. Anyways, this thing has more hits now, I guess. Ah, loser. I probably should let the heat build up if I'm going to do the break guard stuff. Which I might not, just because I don't know if it's actually going to work out that way. Oh, great, he's going to do some interesting stuff. I don't know if I made that in time. Nice dodge. Yeah, what is with this guy? I think he's decided to just, like, get hit by now. Oh my gosh. I think I missed my chance to do the break guard thing there, which is fine. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, finally I'm going to do something cool in this game. Oh my gosh. Ah, yeah, that was sick. Now I'm going to do, like, something slightly less cool. Just to finish him off, you know. Yeah. I, I figured it was going to go like that. See, if the cool epic thing that I just paid for just did a bit more damage, then that fight could have ended in a really interesting way. But, you know, I mean, I opened this up saying I was just going to hit him over and over again with a baseball bat. Uh, and that's how it ended up, so, you know. Uh? How's it going, rookie? Since when did my bat turn into a knife? Sheesh. Tell me where the Nishikiyama guy is. Or you know what I'm going to do with this knife? I'm going to butter my bread. And lie in it. Yep. I'll slash his tendons. Come on. Tell me where Nishikiyama is. Rookie. How many rookies do they have? I wonder how the freaking... Huh? What's the recruiting process for the Yakuza? You think you you apply with a resume? You say, oh, I see you have uh, see you have eight years experience uh, hanging nerds upside down for their lunch money. Oh, I, I see you've uh, you have uh, well acquainted yourself with uh, friggin' I don't know, given given dorks atomic wedgies like I don't know what what are they. Do they even have those in Japan? Well, whatever. I always forget that certain things among, like, pranks are very region regional. Sometimes. I don't even remember how I figured that out. Well, like, there's shit they do in Japan, supposedly, that they definitely don't do here. <laughs> like, um... Oh, jeez. Uh, is this really how I'm gonna mention Concho on my freaking channel? Sure, why the hell not? Uh, the freaking shoving your fingers up someone's ass. That's a, that's a, a quote-unquote prank they pull in, in uh, Japan, supposedly. I don't know if it actually is, but, you know. So I've heard, I myself, having lived in America my entire life, have never had anybody shove their fingers up my ass. Which I guess can be said for more than... Well, for most Americans, I would imagine. I would hope, I guess. But, you know, some some people don't have the liberty of not having people shove their fingers up their ass. Ah. 
What a day. Anyways, I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. I think, uh, I, I think I've probably said enough stuff. You can, you can already tell that the episode's just gonna devolve in even further into wacky shit, so you know what? I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead with, uh, talking about, like, wedgies and concho, so. Yeah, yeah, let's just, let's just leave it there. Uh, so yeah, you're gay. I can't end an episode like that, can I? Am I gonna have to cut that out? I sure hope not. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll, I'll hang you up by your underwear, I don't know. Definitely not gonna shove my fingers up your ass, though, that's a Japan thing, and I'm not Japanese. Ahaha. Nihongo wa hanasemasen. Yep. Till then, though. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.